Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Oxygen Not Included here in the Ultimate Base 4.0. In today's episode, I would like to start exploring space a little bit. I want to figure out just what we can find within the near vicinity, and I might be tempted to do the very same thing on the second planetoid. Now, when it comes to the second planetoid, my first suggestion would be to set up a bunch of solar panels. We already sent over the necessary glass to do so. We're going to set up about four of these panels. Let's do that. I will be breaking through this little bit, maybe set up another barrier here, and then we wiggle around, kind of keeping the radiation protection in place. And we're just gonna hook that up, we'll be going through here, and then all the way down. Then when it comes to this part, I think I'm just gonna disassemble the cable here, also take away these two doors, and then we're just gonna go around here, still trapping the gases inside, and we'll be able to continue with a heavy watt wire. And then all we have to do is basically replace all the cabling we have currently going on. That will be a pretty extensive task here for Ari, but it should be doable. In the meantime, we're trying to burn through the hydrogen. However, we are just not quick enough from the looks of it, and my dupes have to eat in hydrogen, but even worse, the dreamers have to dream in hydrogen, though this is slightly breathable here. <laughs> Maybe another thing we can already prepare here is the rocket silo, and basically what I would like to see is a ladder going all the way up to here, and then on the very top we're gonna have our bunker doors. And then whenever we can, we're gonna set up a ladder sandwich in that rocket. Of course, that's not gonna work for all the rockets, but we should be able to set up, for instance, a steam engine or a carbon dioxide engine. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and research that. We can find the sugar engine, the steam engine, petroleum engine, hydrogen engine, and then at the bottom here we have the carbon dioxide engine. This is the very starting engine, I think, apart from maybe the sugar engine could also be a starter engine. But it it burns to crows, which I don't think is something we have access to just yet. And then, of course, another thing we have to do is set up a telescope. I'm just going to do that right here because my dupes are in Atmo suits. And if we don't do this too extensively, then the radiation sickness should also be OK. OK, we're free. We should be able to set up the bunker doors. Now, let me think. This is not going to add up very well. Hmm. If I want this to be on one level, then we need to cover two rocket platforms. Let me see. We would be starting here, there and there. And this would be... No, we cannot even do that. Yeah, the bunker door is only four tiles in size. That's stupid. And then the rocket platform is seven in size. The thing is, I probably want the rocket platforms next to each other so we can crossfeed everything that we extract. So eventually the next rocket platform is going to go here and I don't want a gap in between them. But then how would I set up the gantries? That's not going to work. Wait a second. Is there another way to connect these parts? Yeah, I did not find a module that is just going to allow me to connect two rocket platforms other than, let's say, a liquid port unloader. I could probably use that to daisy chain the platforms and then feed everything through it yeah automatically links when you build to the side of a rocket platform or another rocket port okay so we could theoretically use those that might not be the worst of ideas so i'm gonna research that next so what if we leave some space for the gantry? Let's say the gantry will go right here, which means our wall would be here. Maybe I need one more space for a ladder, to be honest. So that's one, two, three. This would be the size. Here would be my ladder. Then I have the space for a gantry that isn't going to disturb the rocket. And I have the space for, let's say, two liquid ports. And only afterwards comes the next rocket platform. This would allow me to get about five rocket platforms forms in. I don't think that's going to be enough for what I have in mind. Maybe I'm going to need the second planetoid as well in order to get the complete rocket program going. But yeah, I think that's the way I want to try it. And now when it comes to bunker doors, I'm missing two tiles in order to be able to place three bunker doors or we could alternate them. Yeah, let's say we have two right here and then one right there. That would even make it kind of symmetrical. You know what? I think I should maybe set up a airflow tile here or a couple of them and then another one here in order to allow these gases to go through. Nice. Research completed. Let's dive right into the other one. Uh, what was it? Yeah, the liquid stuff here. And we're also directly going for the wall toilet that we're going to need inside the rocket. There are unloaders and loaders. And it looks like the unloader is a little bit higher than the loader. So I'm first going to set up the loaders. Let's maybe build it with gold 
gold or steel so it has a higher overheat temperature actually it doesn't matter the overheat temperature is 2000 degrees so we can just as well build it out of cobalt i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna leave the space for a liquid unloader here and oh meteor showers Ooh. okay well it's probably gonna be fine right oh look at that i'm so glad Sheen wasn't actually researching anything but yeah this is not good i already know that we're gonna need some glass okay we already have 33 crafts that means we're totally out of sand granite is a good candidate let's do 99 crafts another 99 crafts with igneous rock that should give us some sand and then enough materials for the repair now let's hope nothing is gonna get through here the meteor shower shouldn't last too long oh my gosh wait wait just wait until it's over but yeah this is uh, clearly devastating i mean we're gonna survive it that is definitely not the issue there yeah, airflow tiles in place and that means now my hydrogen can move up and some oxygen is gonna flow in very good we might want to do the same thing with this tile here in order to do just that but yeah overall honestly we probably have to slowly but surely get into the ultimate worker base like the starter base is working and got me rolling but now i would like to relocate them in order to make it much better and what i'm gonna do is set up a ladder here on the very edge and then i'm gonna do a row of igneous rock tiles let's go ahead and do that here on the very top i would like to set up a layer of bunker tiles tiles of course so that's gonna be a thing here then i would like to leave two tiles free for maintenance so my dupes will be able to run across here okay nice i like where this is going let's not do the entire thing just yet we're gonna go up here and then right here i'm gonna start my worker base with everything necessary for the next 2000 cycles or so oh and another research is completed so we got the liquid rocket port loader that i'm gonna set up right here and they should daisy chain with that issues so that i can set up my next rocket platform right next to it this is good very good let's also get rid of that metal refinery we're still crafting a little something but i think we're done here in terms of efficiency it's time to get this out of the way uh, let's just deconstruct everything deconstruct the pipes and the power wire and oh geez i don't have enough obsidian i'm building these out of obsidian this is probably not a good idea i'm just gonna build the tiles beneath the rocket out of obsidian because it can take a little bit more heat before it overheats and then the rest should be igneous rock now actually before i go too crazy with this i just want to make sure that i am allowed to set up a gantry here without it being attached to a wall yeah it's not giving me any errors anyways let's get that new rocket going carbon dioxide rocket we are just gonna explore the immediate surroundings here with that so this is gonna be nothing special but let's start to set this up we might also want a spacefarer module on top of it that we can already start to set up and of course this is going to be a teensy tiny little rocket contrary to the ones that we're going to have later on another research completed we got the wall toilet very nice also the mechanical surfboard liquid intake and output let's keep on researching there's probably more stuff that we want for our first rocket maybe a rovers module could be nice a battery module as well so i'm gonna research that next after the rover when it comes to the worker module what i want to do here is basically build everything out of gold tiles for the decoration they're gonna be maxed out on decoration even if we use heavy watt wires inside this is gonna allow me to keep the footprint a little bit smaller not having to set up many statues and the like I will be tempted to get started with a bedroom and I would like to make three bedrooms. Let me see if this is going to be the ceiling, then the bedrooms only need to be about three tiles in height. Let's build the cots out of granite for plus 20 decoration. Uh, it's going to be about eight beds per floor. So that would be our first floor right here. Also, since we can afford it, gold amalgam door right there. Okay, and we would have to repeat this three times to get the 24 beds. Something like this. Yes. Put it down here, I will probably set up two bathrooms. No, wait. 24 dupes divided by four shifts. That means six duplicates need to be able to poop at the same time. That essentially means we want to have this four tiles in height so I can set up some lights. But yeah, I can have three here, then another three here. And that's already six. Sure, let me just keep going here. I know we have way too few resources right now, but that hopefully over time is going to change. Laboratories also three right here and there and then of course i'm gonna 
give my duplicates here the showers. Something along these lines here is going to be the size of my worker base. And I think I'm just for now going to build a ladder up here so that we can build everything. And it's going to take a while, but we do have two gold volcanoes running for us. Most of it, of course, is being consumed by the plug slugs. But then again, we also have uh, five tons. No, that is actually the iron. So never mind. How much gold amalgam do we even have? We have uh, 51 tons. So why not also additionally craft a little bit? Well, I'm already doing it. How are the temperatures looking? Hmm, okay, this is gonna heat up. Let me check out the second planetoid. If I'm not mistaken, there is a little something we could make use of. Yeah, this cool slush guys here right here. If we free this up and just go ahead and pump stuff out, we can bring this directly over to the first planetoid. And we don't even have to go far. Just bring it right here and it's going to be fine. So all I need to do is make sure to extend the heavy watt wire here and go down. And then we can also take advantage of that guys here. Let's see where it leads. The teleporter is right here. No, wait, it's here at the bottom. So this would be coming out. Yeah, we could just go ahead and bring this right here here and if we drop it wait what did i build this out of that's the wrong material let's pick granite or something anyway if i drop the polluted water here it's gonna drop all the way down and therefore keep this side of the pool a little bit colder i'm already gonna go ahead and research the next thing for the rockets we did unlock a couple of tiles but it's just gonna go in a circle like fashion three tiles away from the planetoid so technically we could do the same thing on the second planetoid but in order for that to work ari first needs to complete his race radiation blockage. Alrighty, I've been playing for a couple of cycles right here in the main base. Everything runs smoothly, except the new building projects aren't being tackled that quickly. So probably my next loop is going to be used to supplement the building and digging role also on other planetoids. I want Nisbet to remain on this planetoid, maybe the second planetoid, but then I need other dupes that will be taking over on subsequent planetoids. In the meantime, we haven't quite fixed the roof. That is not really a problem because we have all of this hydrogen. Oh, by the way, we've used all up here, so that is good to know. Let's uh, bump this down back to 50% or so. My dupes have started to build the first things right here. This is just going to go slowly and be done over the course of the next few episodes. On the second planetoid, we're almost done with the important infrastructure. We're now building the solar panels, and once that is done, we will be power independent for the most part. And I think what I want to do is maybe set up a couple more batteries. And afterwards, we can go ahead and start this pump which is already ready. Mm, maybe I'm just going to go ahead and connect it up so we can already start pumping things over. It's just going to go up into the teleporter right there and it's coming out the other side right here being dumped all the way down. And this of course is very cold so we will be benefiting from that for quite a while. In the future we might want to utilize this water in order to do something that doesn't matter when it comes to heat. But yeah, this is still looking pretty sustainable. Now we just need to tackle the building projects that allows us to finish the roof section there. Of course, we also completed the research and... Yeah, I actually messed this up here a little bit. Ah, such a pain in the butt. Well, maybe we can add a little bit of phosphorite and then we just uproot these guys. So if I uproot this, then inside the planter box, we get to keep the phosphorite. Okay, that might actually be the better solution than to disallow because now we can just wait for these guys to discharge and oh no, this is already full. So I did not actually mess up. My goal was just to keep this full once the research was done. In this case, uh, let's forget about that. Editing Nathan, leave that out. We are no fools, okay? Here we had the previous metal refinery. And this is also all of my ice and snow and whatever else we had. It is thermally protected here with the abyssalite and insulated tiles. So it's always going to remain in that state until I decide to do something else with it. I mean, this is potentially a lot of liquid that we could add to this pool. And actually, one easy way to do that would be with temp shift plates that we could build out of ice. We can actually go ahead and test this right away. If I build the temp shift plate right here, let's do that. This is one absolutely wonderful process. Nisbet seems to be taking care of it. Very good. Let's have a look at the temperatures. This is reasonably hot here. 35.4 degrees and there is the build. We can see the water from the temp shift plate that has immediately melted is now 0.6 degrees and it's just gonna spread the chill a little bit. It's not gonna help us a lot but considering we have approximately 100 tons of liquefiable material we should be fine. 
Wait, what was that? Another colony achievement. Uh, super sustainable. Generate 240,000 kilojoules of power without using coal, natural gas, petrol or wood generators. Wow, that's actually a really hard achievement. That is especially surprising. Well, it's not that hard, but... Considering that I didn't know about this achievement, it's a coincidence that I didn't yet make use of another power source. Well, Ari doesn't seem to be quite happy about this achievement and I can see why. We're gonna deconstruct this ugly generator and we finally finish the build here. Once we get the solar power, this is all gonna sort itself out. Now this is getting us nowhere. Ari is really struggling, so I'm gonna tell him to build that storage. And in here we wanna collect some aluminium ore. Let's do that very briefly with a higher priority. Now as you can see, he can collect 1800 kilograms of aluminium ore instead of just the 400 kilograms he usually brings for building four wires and of course all of this is also gonna require aluminium so be a good boy and just bring this all up thank you uh, not really worth going down one more time maybe you're just gonna start building yeah, yeah you can do this okay time for sleeping see ya well okay that was actually perfect well never mind considering it's cycle 226 i'm definitely not min maxing however i'm gonna build the ultimate base oh I'm looking forward to it. First things first, the worker module. But considering we're already down to 108 tons of polluted dirt. Well, that's not good. Am I still sending this over? Yeah, we'll have to switch to liquid oxygen production very soon. And that might actually be a problem. Unless we find more cool slush geysers. I mean, this could be another one. Let's check it out, maybe. Oh, Ari, you need more skills. Let me check you out right there. You need the super duper hard digging skill. He's already got the field research, so... Theoretically, we could go ahead and research that, analyze it. But before we do that, of course, finish the solar array. And yes, indeed, he seems to be doing just that. I'm so sorry for not giving you an oxygen mask just yet. There it is. First solar panel hooked up. It's not going to give us the maximum energy, but four of them are going to give us a thousand watts or so at the peak. And this should theoretically be enough to, you know, charge my batteries. We'll see. Actually, as a matter of fact, we do have more and more is better. I'm also going to add some glass to the storage bin here. Right now, it's probably time to fill up the storage bin because we're getting sick. 51 rats. Okay, that's acceptable. And we're bringing over all the glass that we have and maybe two more loads of aluminium. There is one right there. And yeah, we can do another one. And once that is done, we're going to set this back to priority five. So the next time we're going to go ahead and build again. But now, um, yeah, just go ahead and uh, take a poop. No, 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 no. Boots, boots, boots. There you go, buddy. Oh, yeah, we're looking away and get rid of 33 rats. Okay. Ah, look at that. We're actually making good progress here. And if we check out the decor overlay, this is already pretty good. So there's not much we can do wrong. Oh, let's also unlock some more blueprints here. What do we get? Maybe a nice drywall. No, just an Atmo suit, bright hanging pot and some basic green pants. Maybe next time. There are my drywall patterns so far. Not anything I want for my bathrooms. So I guess I'm just going to go with fresh white here. And we're going to build them out of granite. Build them right here in order to avoid gases from escaping into space. But also to make it look nice. So both of my bathrooms are going to get that. And then as for the bedrooms, I'm going to go with solid charcoal. Make this nice and dark. I'm now going to bring the hydrogen back down to 20%. So Mainly the plug slots are now going to be responsible to charge my network. I just want to make sure that we get this jumbo battery down a little bit further before nighttime hits. Also, I noticed five dreamers are not going to be enough, even if I let them sleep one more slot. So we're definitely going to need a sixth duplicant in order to keep the buff up. But as long as I cannot really keep up the oxygen production either, it might be a bit difficult. So I think what I'm going to do for now is disable the Somnium Synthesizer. I'm not going to allow manual use, so the duplicates aren't going to input anything. But we could just also disable it. And then we're going to build this storage bin where we're going to store all the journals. Uh, story trade, maybe. Yeah, dream journal. We can store them in here. And then we're just going to accumulate a whole bunch with our five duplicates. And eventually we can unleash them. Ari, radiation vomiting. I totally forgot about you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't want to let it come this far. 70 rats? Okay, that's... Oh no, you're at the beginning of the shift. Uh, how is it looking? Mm, 
maybe we don't have to do this now. So that means you can take care of something else. Okay, yeah, stop crying. Vomiting again, dude. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that was actually a clean thing. Barfing into the ditch and just close it shut. Ah, but that's what I like to see. Full batteries without Ari actually spinning the wheel. Nisbet, of course, is going crazy on the tiles here. I expected nothing less of her. Also, we should keep these doors already open. Now, before the next meteor shower hits, I would like to get these bunker doors built. And then I probably want another ladder going down here and eventually down into the base. One thing I forgot to do in order for Ari to do the cool slush guys here, I need to allow him to do some researching. So I'm just gonna set this to neutral. Yeah, look at that. More than enough choose to do something. Let me see. This needs to be prioritized now. I want to know what's in there. Also, we're gonna clean up the top portion here. Maybe speed this up a little bit. Oh, wait, are you serious? Another set of meteor showers. Uh, this is not good. Ooh. Oh, well, actually, it's okay. Well, I still don't appreciate it. But at least it's the kind of meteorite that isn't going to destroy anything. Oh, man. Okay. This one actually is even worse because this one is really hot. I have to try. Let's uh, dig everything up. But we're definitely overheating now. No, wait. What's going on here? Uh, the regolith. Of course. Okay. So never mind. It's the regolith that is hot and I should have dug it up quicker. <laughs> that also means I need to be a little bit careful. Yeah, these guys are already heating up because I'm probably using very hot regolith. And you know, I think this only happened now because we had some off-gassing. Yeah, crap. I need to put Nisbet back in terms of priorities. She's not doing a good job. So put her back uh, here when it comes to digging. And also, before I forget, there is another achievement. We got immovable object. Block a meteor from hitting your base using a bunker door. Nice. Yeah, finally dig up that crappy regolith. Thank you. Ari's doing a phenomenal job here. There's just one thing missing and that is the hydro sensor. We should have access to aluminium on this planetoid. So I'm just going to build enough materials to hook this up with a sensor and then maybe use this one here to take care of the aluminium. We're just going to do like 10 crafts or so. That should be fine. And let me see. Yeah, we're going to catch some air and then maybe with priorities we can make him use some stuff. Why did you input sand? Hold the phone. Yeah, we don't currently need that. Sandstone, as a matter of fact, we're gonna send over. So all the sandstone we find, we're just gonna send over to the main planetoid. Right here, we have over 14.3 tons of sand. Very easy. Now, one thing that is problematic is the stress for Ari. Let's check out his stress levels. Right here, 66% currently. 20% is from the sopping wet debuff. Then he's got some low morale. He's got a minus 25% boost from having the maximum aptitude buff at a point. And then cold air gives him 10% a cycle and low oxygen another 10% a cycle resulting in an overall change of 18% per cycle not good now let me see the low morale point hmm yeah okay we are very close here let me see is there something we could give you that would change the situation yeah of course one easy thing we can do is change this mess hall to be a great hall is it large enough 32 tiles the great hall's minimum size i think is 32 yeah so we're basically just missing the decor item which means this flower pot but since it is too cold is it still too cold oh my gosh yeah the entire base cooled down so instead of a flower pot maybe we find another decorative item such as this pedestal that isn't heat dependent though it looks like the pedestal only gives plus five decor and we need at least plus 20 so what if we went a little bit further and then even used moldings in order to bump up that decor value once we upgraded this to a great hall, it basically means we're not going to experience any stress from low morale, which is minus 10% at the moment. But as soon as we lose the maximum aptitude stress, we're going to be in a world of issues. It is still running. Somebody... Oh no. Somebody activated it. Are you serious? Who did that? I thought I disallowed manual use. Wait. Yeah, and now it's using my oxygen again. You guys only are supposed to bring it here. What are you doing? Okay, now I'm gonna let this run out. Let's put it to priority one. This way, certainly nobody is gonna take care of it. But once it ran out, we are really dependent on having a net negative stress cycle to calm Ari down a little bit. Ooh, okay, this is not enough. I need an item that gives plus 20 decor in just one go, like this flower pot here. Hmm, that's so weird. Are plants so powerful? Well, let's still try with a pedestal here. Put this there. And we can even put something on top of it, like 
take some ore. It probably doesn't matter. Let me see. Okay, now we have something on top of it. Uh, rooms. Now, it's still a mess hall. We have enough decor value, but I'm just missing the proper item to make this a great hall. I'm going to try that again with the flower pot, but maybe we find a seed that isn't affected by the chill. Yeah, well, you look at that. Zero to 100 degrees, the choya seed. So all we need to do is send over a choya seed. Just one single choya seed. I don't think we can actually do that. But we can send over all of the choya seeds. Somebody should be taking care of that because of priority nine is doing it there we go some choya seeds for my neighboring planetoid they have arrived so now i can go ahead and plant that right away and we should do that definitely oh please do it before bedtime that would be amazing yes ah so nice okay now this should have upgraded ooh, ooh, ooh. come on come on come on there we go great haul that's another plus three morale and i will be eating here this cycle and we are not dependent on maximum aptitude for our morale bonus anymore okay so now we're basically prepared to launch our rocket program the next time i'm also going to research with the telescope the second planetoid that means we should be able to discover what we can find here within these question marks and then to reveal even more we'll have to travel into space like i also want to know if this is a planetoid and if this one here is a planetoid that would be great but yeah, with that out of the way, we're going to wrap it up for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Have a great time and see you in the next one. Bye bye.